All right, so some of you might be confused by the title, but I kind of want to explain what I mean by that. I saw Blue Beetle. I intend on seeing it again probably next couple days. But I was very pleased with what I saw. I am someone who personally has not liked what the DCU tends to put out. But here we have a banger. And for the younger audience, specifically on the DC side, they potentially have a Spider-Man-like character that they can piggyback off of or use heavily in their movie universe. But before we get into this, smash the like button. Let's get this to 200 plus likes if you guys love when I do content like this and just give my breakdowns and opinions. On top of this, make sure to check out my recent video um, on the Record of Ragnarok style Marvel DC tournament. I might have part two out either tonight, but if not tonight, it's definitely out tomorrow. It's fucking insane. Check it out. Some of the best content I've ever put out. And also check out the Ben Grimm Yancey Street Broke My Heart documentary. Now let's get into this Blue Beetle discussion. This will be non-spoiler. Um, if you guys want a spoiler review, get in the comment section down below and let me know if you want to hear that where I just get into a detailed spoiler breakdown and talk about all the details. But with this, what do I let's start off with my overall rating. What do I give this rating for Blue Beetle? I give it an 8 out of 10. I went into the movie completely expecting nothing. The recent DCU shit has been trashed. The Flash's graphics were insanely bad. There's a whole bunch of dog shit coming from that realm. So I didn't have any high hopes. But what intrigued me was the fact that Blue Beetle is not a character with a huge fan base. Let's just call it what it is. This had the potential to be something unique, something they could just flesh out, tweak some things, and just make it amazing, and overall not piss too many people off, because hate to say it, there's not that many Blue Beetle fans. And they did a fantastic job with it, similar to how, in my opinion, Marvel went about the Guardians of the Galaxy in the first movie. I just feel like it had that refreshing feel to it. On the DCU side, and honestly with DC culture in general, I'm kind of tired of everything being Batman, Superman, or essentially Trinity related, which means Wonder Woman as well. Like DC is oftentimes almost afraid to branch out into other shit because they have, I will admit, old reliables with the Trinity. But damn, we want some more content. We want to see more characters. And this was the perfect opportunity to branch out. And in my opinion, it was a hit. Where they failed heavily was the marketing. They did no marketing for this. They marketed the shit out of Flash, which backfired on them because it highlighted how no one likes Ezra Miller. And then you get here, there's no fucking advertisements for it. And this is 10 times the movie. So what did I like about the movie? One, the pacing. Oftentimes, especially in the superhero movie genre, you will have moments that are dragged out too much. Either the comedic moments or you'll have something like the dramatic moments dragged out to almost an uncomfortable length or just too much of. I felt like that was not a problem with Blue Beetle. Blue Beetle had great pacing. It didn't linger on anything too long. It would touch on something and go. It kept it moving. I love that because you don't need to overdo it. Uh, for example, like Captain Marvel overdid it. Uh, Shazam sometimes overdid it. Love and Thunder overdid it. You can overdo the shit out of that stuff. And I feel like this movie avoided that entirely uh, entirely, and had really good pacing. The all I don't even know if it's a negative. I could understand if people didn't like the villain. However, it's more so a case of the villain serves the purpose of fully developing or rapidly developing the main character and the story. Um, there was multiple villains. There wasn't just one. Um, each villain having kind of their own way they play into the story. So it was a lot more complicated than just one villain. I happen to enjoy Omak and the other villains. Um, you guys can let me know in the comment section what you thought about the villains. I thought it was going to be weird anyway to see who they put Blue Beetle against because Blue Beetle doesn't exactly come with a crazy rogue gallery or at the very least one that's well known to the common people. So, I was curious to see what they brought would bring out. They brought out Omac. I loved what Omac did. I loved how um, they went about political, um, 
financial. There's a whole lot of uh, storylines in play with the problems at hand for Blue Beetle in this story. He felt extremely relatable. Uh, his approach to education, what he did and what he thought meant success uh, in the world. It, it was extremely relatable, in my opinion, especially to young people. Um, and Hunt. And Heine was just honestly really refreshing as a character. Gave me the can be serious, but isn't overly serious because he's still young. Like the world's, there's still a lot of shit going on. He's got to learn from and learn through. And it reminded me of Spider-Man Homecoming vibes from that part. Um, that kind of innocence and just seeing the kind of loss of innocence for Tom uh, Holland's Spider-Man. You kind of see it with Jaime. Um, uh, especially through the build-up through the Spider-Mans, but obviously this is only one movie for Blue Beetle. I really hope we get a sequel, by the way. The scare was dope. Uh, the main complaints I've seen from people that have actually seen the movie, because the people that haven't seen the movie are the bots saying it's not good. Um, but the ones saying they didn't like, like, they didn't like that the Scarab's voice was, like, female. I didn't even realize that was a factor throughout the movie. Like, I completely forgot at other media's show it as more like a male voice. Me, personally, don't really give a shit. It's a fucking alien scarab. I don't care what kind of voice it is. Uh, it's like a symbiote. Who, who gives a shit? Uh, I don't feel like it's a massive part of the character. Um, I do plan on reading everything Blue Beetle. So maybe I'm fucking wrong. But at least with what I do know from things and Rebirth and whatnot, Blue Beetle, the scarab's voice isn't a huge contingency upon the character. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal. The fight scenes were amazing. This director, stunt guy, choreographer, whoever owns the rights to fucking Power Rangers, throw the bag. Throw all the bags because they would nail the shit out of a Power Ranger movie. This was like Power Rangers on fucking steroids. And it, I love, I ate that shit up. It was clean as fuck. The soundtrack was underrated. Very well placed soundtrack. It was a great movie. 8 out of 10. I'm looking forward to seeing this shit again. And when I say DC has their Spider-Man, they have a young character that a younger audience can relate to. Not uh, not only this, like this is a character for all races too. And, you know, there's not going to be any complaints about like, oh, we can't relate. He's white. I mean, he's not white. Uh, spoiler fucking alert. And it's not like this, quote, woke type character here. I mean, it literally... It beautifully touches on his uh, heritage, his family life, uh, the culture aspects. It's great. So extremely relatable for a lot of different people. Uh, had a fun cast. His family was great. I felt very immersed in how his family was living, uh, the dynamics in their family. Um, it was very good dialogue. There was a lot of ways they could have missed and they didn't. It wasn't the best superhero movie ever, but it was really fun. It actually had some emotional points. And overall, I'm looking forward to seeing how Blue Beetle is going to fit into the DCU. Hopefully, this is a good sign for the rest that's coming in the movie verse. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the Blue Beetle movie in the comment section down below. If you haven't seen the movie, don't blindly hate my comment section. That shit's corny. Like, I, I just don't care for that stuff. Uh, but if you did see it, have legit complaints, let me know in the comment section down below. Join my Discord to chat about it. We have a spoiler section for it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was my non-spoiler Blue Beetle review. If you want a spoiler review, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my Record of Ragnarok Marvel DC uh, series, and as well as Roll Swap series, which is coming back this week. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.